Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have seen my previous videos, you must have seen that I've been using sudo before executing any command in Kali Linux terminal. I did that to execute the command as root, just like you do run as administrator in a Windows computer. From 2020, Kali Linux started the non-root user process policy, as far as knowledge, and stopped root account by default. So, in this video, I am going to show you how can you enable the root account and also I will tell you about some of the pros and cons of using root account at the end of this video. So stick to the video, watch the video till end. Without any further ado, let's get started. So here I have started my Kali machine as a non-root user and to confirm that i am going to open my terminal and if i execute command like apt update without putting sudo before the command and if i press enter it will give some error so now and also as you can see yeah, permission denied so you have to execute this sort of command as a root now but if i put sudo apt update and press enter there will be no error at all. I'm gonna put the password and press enter. Now as you can see the command has been executed successfully and it's working. So now if you want to enable the root password in Kali Linux then here's what you can do. I'm gonna cancel this command by pressing ctrl C. I'm gonna clear the screen and you can do like sudo apt install Kali root dash login and press enter. Now it will take some time. You have to wait till it's get 100%. Oh, it's so fast. Now I'm gonna clear the screen again. Now you have to change the password for the root login. So to do that, you can type sudo pass wd and press enter and enter the root password i'm gonna type my password now it's done i'm gonna exit the terminal and i'm going to restart the machine or maybe you can switch the user so you type the user account root and your password and login And as you can see, we have successfully logged in as a root account. See, it's successfully done. But however, there are some pros and cons of this root account also. Let me explain to you. Remember guys, root account is not for amateurs. If you are beginners, stick to the non-root account. If you don't know about the core system of Kali, you may cause serious damage in the core system of the operating system that will compromise the security of the system. Alright? And by the way, sudo means super user. Even if you are using sudo before executing the command, you are performing as root. The only thing is you have to authenticate with password all the time. And also it prevents modifying files and data of the operating system which might you know which might be very sensitive sensitive to run the system so non root is not so bad okay however if you are experienced user in kali then you will have to you know you will have the god like power just kidding <laughs> root account has all access to the system of kali you can modify delete or create system file and cause permanent change or damage if you don't know what you are doing or if you select options you if you don't select options very wisely so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button also and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so in my in the future if i upload a new video then you will get notified and you won't miss anything